Hello, my friends. This is Kachi, also known as Delacaba, and I am here with the Hunter, starting completely brand new. Holy cow. We have a single shot shotgun. We have ourselves a 243. And let's get a look here. See if they are firing me up in a t-shirt or I've got... Oh, okay, I do have I do have a proper top and bottom for hunting. That's good. Um, got our binoculars and that. So these slots aren't open yet. We have to expand those to get them open. We do have scent suppressor. And I'm hoping, though I find it highly unlikely, I'm hoping... I can bring the shotgun. This exceeds the maximum carry capacity. Capacity cost three. Capacity cost three. I'm going to dump the 100 camping supplies because there's no reason for us to have 100 camping supplies. And I am going to take slugs. Ah, uh, okay. Well, so much for first aid kit. How about that? And one extra of those. Give me some slugs, please. Now, I believe that... Uh, okay. Hmm. I don't... I think the slugs are legal for elk. I'm going to pause and I'm going to check that. All right, I have confirmed the slugs are legal for elk. That's that's the important part. All right, let's go to resume game. Let's get our weapons loaded. We got just a bead for a sight. Yep, okay. That is all right. I've got my bleat call. I've got some scent eliminator. Um, so for free on Steam, there's a extra equipment pack, and it gives you um, some face camouflage, and it gives you a little scent eliminator, some camping supplies and stuff. But I think we're about set. What the plan is is we're gonna move from the lodge down to the triple ponds. Then from the triple ponds, we're gonna move west to kidney hill there's a kidney shaped hill here then to the stand on the edge of the lake and then from there if we continue we will cross and probably rather than uh, going to the bridge we'll actually come to the crossing here head through these little ponds and if we make it all the way there go to the other lodge but i doubt we'll get that far let's do this thing i started at 5 a.m um, elk and whitetail are both active this early and most importantly they're heading to and from the water hole all right let's go ahead and hit a crouch here and we'll see how we do let's drop a marker just to make sure we're we're on course right there But we have a single shot 12 gauge. They were kind enough to provide bird shot, buck shot, and slugs. We have a 243 with a basic scope. It only has one setting. There's no zoom on it. Keep an eye open for horizontal movement. In nature, things don't tend to move horizontally unless they are alive. If they, if they aren't an animal and they move horizontally, then they're going to be moving back and forth, not in a continuous direction. All right, so we've got a doe off over that way. Of course, the doe doesn't earn us any game bucks if we take it, so if possible, we're going to avoid taking any does. No 
sign of anybody home over here yet. But early morning like this, the triple ponds are excellent, excellent for whitetail. And in between here and there, the elk are often active. Ah, we've got a solid dome, so that means it's the track of that doe that we heard call. Wish I had some buck scent. All we've got is a is a call. Yeah, that is from that doe. Oh, I just heard a buck. He's down on the road. Down on the road, right there. We're gonna turn that off because. As long as it hasn't gone through its uh, complete animation, we can flip it back and it'll complete the animation. So we'll get a better idea of where we are relative to the animal. So go back to that and we'll still have our circle for just a moment. So he was right down on the road there. We're going to belly crawl up. Call again, please. There he is again. Yeah, he must be right over the ridge. I'm gonna come up a little higher. He must be right over that ridge right there. One higher, still can't see him. Gonna stay low, move slow. Hope we don't disturb him. And hope he's moving along very casually so when we get to the to the edge up here we can see him and take him. Crawling across the road will tremendously reduce the amount of noise we make crossing the road. In fact, he was close enough we're going to get a good sight lane here, and we're going to try our call. Wouldn't it be... Oh, okay. That was very, very close. Yeah. Coming up right over there. He's right behind those boulders becomes a matter of which side he comes up on. I hear him. There he is. Or is that a doe? No, it's a little buck. He's not very big, but we're going to take him. He's our first one. That's all that matters. Not a big fella at all. He's got some interesting looking horns to him. They got a funny bend to him. 
Wow, he is literally a two-point buck. <laughs> All right, well. There we go. Uh, neck, shoulder blade, right lung. We're at seven GMs. We're, we're going to take the trophy shot. Because he's our very first one. Gonna have to be good enough. <laughs> I don't think I have ever seen one that does not have a single prong before. Now, there he is. Let's go ahead and set a new point. Having just fired, uh, we were just picking up a track or something here. Hmm, I don't know. Having just fired, we're going to have to get a ways out before things will be all right. But at least it was a white tail, white tail buck. That's what matters. Yeah. I think any animals that were here have moved on. Hey, our white tail skill just went up. I think it's level three where you can tell if they're male or female. And we're gonna push up right here right into the heart of the ponds and give a listen Yeah, I think they've moved on. We're going to set our new marker. Which is Porkchop Hill. Not Porkchop Hill, what am I talking about? I guess it could be Porkchop Hill. It's kind of Porkchop shaped. There he was again. He's right straight up the hill there. Right up there. Let's see if we can call him in. I thought I heard something coming in from behind me. If I get a doe walking up on me, it's going to be a problem. Ah, crap. And the buck is calling from up the hill. Damn it. Yep, it was that doe. I wonder if she spooked him or not, and it's too late for me to pick up his... Oh, no. What? His call is still there. So he was right up there. Wow, I smell a skunk. We have a skunk in the neighborhood? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There he is, and he's a nice one. Good clean hit, and there he is. Nice clean shot. He's an all right looking fella. All right, well, let's check him. Score 107, very respectable. Body hits left lung right where it should be. Get our trophy shot here, see if we can get him out of the bushes. I'll take it. Perfect pocket shot.
right out there. I'm going to actually go prone before I move to this side of things because then we don't make any noise. Glass it up, see what we see. I hope that was him responding to our bleat call. Buddy, where are you? Would love to finish out today's hunt with three bucks. New trail found. So there's a second buck coming in from that way. I need to be in a position where I can see both directions. kind of a tall order I hate to make the bleat call from inside the tower because then they come up and they walk right under the tower you know and if you can't get a line of sight on them quick enough they stand underneath you for a few moments, they smell you, and then they run. Oh, we know there's bucks out there. At least two of them. Well, I guess I'm going to do it. Hit him. When he steps out, I'm taking him. He was a good one. He was a good one. Might be him laying on top of the hill. That's awful far out to see another track. Though usually we'll see another blood patch or two before he actually goes down. So I'm not not crossing my fingers here. We'll just get up there and we'll see what it is. Can't wait to hunt some feral pigs. Ah, there he is. Get a look at this fella. He looked awful good. Yeah. In fact, is he in a typical? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 point buck. He's a 178. Wow. <laughs> this 
Let's get our trophy shot. See if we can get him a little better set here. There we go. Nice and even. Rotate me. Bring me forward just a touch. Kind of like my... Like I've got him with his head leaning on my shoulder. There we go. Now let's get in so we can see it clear. Beautiful. Boom. That is a heck of a deer. Yeah, yeah, I was just confirming the count. He's a 16-point buck. Hot damn. Well, that is a great way to finish off our first hunt. Where are we at here? Yeah, I think I think that's where I'm going to call it. I mean, that's just such a such a fine animal to finish with. Such a fine animal to finish with. I think in our next episode, we're going to hunt the west side. We're going to go see if we can pick up a nice swamp buck. But I can be quite very satisfied with that. So they literally went in order from like the smallest buck you could possibly get to a monarch of the forest. I'm pretty pleased. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed hunting with me. Remember, share, like, subscribe, blah blah blah. YouTube algorithm, you know what to do. So, this has been Kachi, also known as Delacaba, returning to the hunter as a complete noob. I am a Bambi in the woods. I look forward to many hunts with you. And until then, remember, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. <laughs>